Before he was a god, Odin was a man, desperate for vengeance. A frost giant murdered his father. Odin cannot let this stand. Guided by his blood brother Loki, Odin ventures into a poison mist. Mists that steal souls. Mists that men say only a fool would enter. But what if revenge is only the beginning? His quest leads him to a chance at immortality. But what price will he pay? You'll love this grim fantasy because it retells a classic Norse myth in a whole new way. The Apples of Eden is book one in the Eschaton cycle, which is sort of um, like retellings. This one focuses on Norse mythology, and there are others in this series that focus on other mythologies. But anyways, this is book one. Wow. Just like, wow. Basically, this book was amazing. <sighs> yeah. Okay, Norse mythology is a very difficult one to write because a lot of it, um, it doesn't end well most of the time, and it's not your standard, <sighs> well, okay, compared to a lot of the Greek mythologies that you see, the Norse mythology is far more complicated. Um, the only one that I have seen that is more complicated in terms of the actual pantheon and in terms of the uh, characteristics and the stories is Egyptian mythology. So Norse mythology is one which definitely uh, embodies the culture of the people uh, who it served, the um, Viking Age, the Scandin early Scandinavians, the early Nordic people. Um, very much a society built on tribes and warfare and trying their very best to survive in a very difficult environment. This book displays that really, really well. And uh, it was just... it was great. Um, the characters were fantastically well done, considering that they were taken from a mythology and then made into something else and into characters that you can write a full novel about while still maintaining that connection to the mythology and the distinctive characteristics that go into that. It was very impressive. Um, Odin, I think, is kind of... Hmm. Well, he, he causes a few problems by being a little bit too headstrong and not necessarily thinking things through the way he should have, but honestly I like him. I think he's a really fascinating character and I think, yeah, I think he fits very well into this world that has been created. Tyre or Tyr? I believe it's Tyre, but I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that one because um, Russian, not Norse. Sorry. Uh, anyways, so he is kind of less likable. Um, he's probably my least favorite character. Again, he fits very well with the archetype that has uh, existed in the mythology. He does extremely well in fitting well into the society, but he just seems sort of... <sighs> he's kind of annoyed at the world without actually doing anything about it. He, he sort of just accepts the things that have been given to him, and that doesn't necessarily fit with what I have seen of the mythology, and also how the other characters tend to interact with their world, which is to say they fight back. Anyways, the characters are fantastic. The story itself is really interesting because there's a lot of elements that you haven't or that you wouldn't necessarily see in a mythology simply because this is an origin story and not a true retelling, I guess? Um, it's fascinating. I really enjoyed it. A lot. <sighs> yeah. I would say it definitely is on the darker side of things. I don't know if it falls completely into grimdark, but then again, I haven't yet put together my genre videos and done my research onto what actually constitutes grimdark versus just dark. Um, it's it's on the darker side of things. We'll, we'll stick with that. And you definitely have to understand that this society is not our society, and so that modern ideals are not going to be upheld in this earlier society. However, I think that is done extremely well, and even with that major difference, you still enjoy the characters and the story, and you find the reactions perfectly suitable. Um, I really liked it. I think it was very well done. The writing was exceptional, I would have to say. Uh, yeah. 
definitely very exceptional. The prose was smooth, um, the bits of slang that were thrown in there were just like on point. Uh, I really enjoyed it, yeah. The transitions between characters and thoughts on the characters was very well done. Um, it was pretty much chapter based or if it had to be broken up then it was scene based. That was very well done. It was very, very smooth, very good to read. So yeah, I would say a definite definite recommendation on this book. If you're interested in Norse mythology, in mythological retellings, if you're interested in sort of the bits that Marvel got wrong, um, if you want to see that done right, this is the book for you. As usual, all of the links are in the description box below. You can find them there. Uh, I would say go check out the interview I did with Matt Larkin. He talks a lot about what it goes into creating this sort of thing and all of the research and the philosophy. It's pretty impressive, actually. Um, so go check that out. I will leave the link in the description box below also. Or you can go and find me on all of the usual internet places. I'm Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm around. I'm happy to talk. If you want to know more about me or if you want to know about my book or if you want to just talk, about other books in general or suggest ideas for booktube videos whatever uh yeah definitely reach out i love talking with you people and also i love these books that i keep reading they're just like really wow okay i'm impressed apples of eden definitely impressive that's pretty much all i've got for you today otherwise so i will see you next time Someone's annoyed because I'm not paying her enough attention.